What's up? I am back. My feelings were, were so hurt that a uh, major streamer, Penguin Zero, with over 13 million subscribers, made a, a, a negative video about me, and I, I've barely been able to recover. I just don't have the will to work because I know now that I'm a scammer. I know that my client last week who lost his virginity, my boot camp client who lost his virginity, that's, that's fake. That didn't really happen. And he definitely didn't pull another girl in the same week. The testimonials that I'm getting in every day of guys telling me about how they got laid, how they went on their first dates, how they were finally able to overcome their approach anxiety, how they built a rotation. It's all bullshit. Now I know that. Um, but on more on a more serious note, I did have another recent boot camp client lose his virginity after my coaching, which is awesome to hear. I actually, you know, through text guided him uh, what to do because he kept wanting to leave the interaction. This is a very common thing. He's like, I think I should go. I'm not sure if she's feeling it. I don't know. Like, at least go for it, right? At least put yourself out there and see what happens. At least make that move. Maybe you will get rejected, but do not reject yourself. And he followed that advice. He did not reject himself. And he ended up pulling. He ended up, uh, me and another friend, we all pulled three girls together and, and the client. And he ended up losing his virginity, uh, which is awesome, right? That's as a, as a dating coach, as a pickup coach, it's kind of a weird thing to have as an accolade, right? In any other sphere. But pretty much the best thing you can do is get a client who's a virgin to lose their virginity um, without, you know, paying for a hooker, which I've heard there are coaches who do that. So another client lost his virginity and then he pulled again two days later. He pulled again two days later, a really hot girl. I'll show a screenshot, but that is awesome. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've only been doing one boot camp per month recently, and I'm going to dial that back up and go back to doing boot camps every single week. And I know I've done actual polls. I know that most people who watch pickup videos, most people who are watching this content are just watching. They're just observing from the sidelines. They like the idea of taking action. They like the idea of getting girls, but they're not willing to put their ego on the line. They haven't put themselves out there yet. I know because this was me. It took me five years to do my first approach after learning about PUA about learning pickup. It took me five years. And the easiest way to cross that bridge from being someone who's observing to being someone who's actually taking action, getting real results, actually picking up girls, going on dates, getting laid, all that kind of shit. The way to do that, the fastest and easiest way is a boot camp because it gives you external leverage. It gives you skin in the game. You have someone pushing you to take action. It's going to feel harder at that point not to approach. There's actually more reason to approach than not to approach. No matter how bad your approach anxiety is, no matter how much resistance you have. And that's why in the last year, I actually haven't had a single client who wasn't able to approach many girls. Even though more than half of the people who've taken boot camps have never approached have never approached a girl in their life. And yet I haven't had a single client who wasn't able to approach many women, no matter how bad their approach anxiety was. So if you want to learn more about my in-person coaching, I'm going to be doing boot camps every single week, starting very soon. Click the link below to schedule a free call to learn more about the program, to learn more about what is included, because it's not just in-person coaching with me. You also get a professional photo shoot. You also get a lot of other things that make it extremely valuable. So make sure to click the link below to learn more about that. And very soon, those spots are going to be filling up and it's going to be hard to get in on the program. Now, with that said, we're going to look at some infield of Honest Signals, one of the most popular dating coaches, and see uh, if he's cringy or if he's a Casanova. And you're going to learn a lot by watching this infield. So you're from Compton. Yeah, I live... I so, live... You know when you're in a foreign country, you're just like, shit, which way do I look? No, no. <laughs> it's so scary here. Yeah, but I don't know because you're... Out, so out, in, out in the right? Canadian wilderness.
excuse me, girl with the blue uh, coat, who just who looks like she just came from the Netherlands. So that's Honest Signal's main opener. It's a description. Excuse me, girl with X, right? Girl with the ponytails, girl with the whatever. What I like about it is it's dynamic, right? It's not just generic. It's something that you can, there's a little variation. There's a little room for creativity um, and to free associate. What I also like about it is it makes the girl think about, is he talking about me? And it makes her like do a pause and look at herself and think, okay, what, what's going on? which kind of gives her a moment where she's going to stop what she's doing, which then gives him the opportunity to keep the interaction going. Okay. Excuse me, girl in the blonde hair. Wait two seconds. I can't go too far. How many people have called you the lady in red today? Actually, not many. You're the first. You're fucking with me. Hey, The lady in red. You're not Dutch? No, I'm not. It was kind of a joke, but you could pass for Dutch. Yeah, but I'm not, sorry. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I saw you as I was walking that way, passed by, and you looked adorable with your bicycle <laughs> and uh, blue coat. Yeah, thank so you. So I had to run over. So this is a great example of masculine and feminine energy, of what it should like, of what it should like, of what it should look like. So she's laughing. I I'm not Dutch, sorry. She's kind of being reactive, right? She's being emotional. And she's like a squirrel where he's like the oak tree. He's being very grounded. And even though she's laughing and giggling, he's not getting super excited. He's like, oh my God, a girl likes me. Oh, this is my opportunity. Let's get this guy. He, he's not making it a big deal. He's just doing his own thing, being unreactive, being grounded. And that draws her in. That is what masculine and feminine polarity looks like. And if you don't have that, if you don't have that masculine polarity, then women are just going to see you as a friend. Then they're going to see you as a little beta cuck, liberal, <laughs> just kidding, the liberal ones mean. No, orbiter. They're going to see you as a little orbiter that might buy them things. They might be deign to give you a kiss after the fourth date out of gratitude for all the nice dinners you've bought them. That's how they're going to see you if you lack this polarity. And that polarity means you're not reacting to her. It means you are at the cause, not the effect. And most men, when they interact with women, are at the effect because they're in such scarcity. It's so rare for them to get an opportunity with a girl. They make it a big deal and they start you know, acting like a kid in a candy store where they're super excited that maybe this is the one, maybe this is the opportunity, but that turns women off like nothing else. And so when you have this grounded energy, you're not being reactive, you can make a lot of other mistakes. You can say the wrong thing. You can fuck up. Now I'm, you know, demonetized. But in so many ways and still succeed. And on the other hand, you can do almost everything technically right. But if you're reactive, if you're the one who has the feminine polarity, unless, unless she's got whips at home, that she's going to be using on you, unless she's a dominatrix or a dominant woman, it's not going to work. She's just not going to feel the spark. She's not going to know that you have man parts, since I can't you know, say anything on YouTube. But she's going to see you as an androgynous being, as someone who can maybe provide her with things that you buy for her, but she has no sexual desire for you whatsoever. Take five minutes out of my life and say hello. Um, hi. Hello, oh, this is the lady in red. Yeah. Say hello. Apparently. Little yeah. Red Riding Hood. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? I wasn't in this red. This is Mo. What's your real name? My real name. I was just walking yeah. from the veg fest and you looked adorable with your my tiny, <laughs> your tiny Diet Coke. Yeah. So I decided to run over, risk everything, say hello. Okay, hi. And, and hit, on, yeah. hit on you. <laughs> in the most in the most romantic street of all. So he's being very direct, right? He's saying, I'm going to hit on you, that you look adorable. He's make his, making his intentions very clear, but he also does not come across as pushy. He's not coming across as needy, which that's the risk. When you're direct, you can come across as just the next guy that's hitting on her. So it can, it can backfire if that's how you go about it, but he's having fun. You can tell the reason he's talking to her is he's pushing his own buttons. He's just expressing himself. He doesn't need 
anything from the girl. And that's what a good approach looks like. Like if she reacts well, it's cool. You're not going to mind. But if she reacts badly, you're still able to have fun. You're still able to enjoy yourself because the main reason you're interacting is just expression. It's just, let's see what happens. Let's have fun. And he's able to generate his own fun by the way he's talking, by being a little bit poetic, by being a little bit exaggerated, right? He's not being boring or robotic or monotone. He's having fun with it. Oh. Man, you killing it. Is it Front Street? Huh? Is it Front Street or Queen Street? I have no idea. I just arrived in Canada. So. Queen's Key. You are just another Commonwealth girl. Yeah, okay. Living in a lonely world. Born. What? Yes, I am. I'm German. German. So it was really close. <laughs> Guten Tag, Fräulein. Guten Tag. What's your name? <laughs> Maria. Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Charmed. Charmed to meet you. Vadim, nice to meet you. What's your name? Vadim. Vadim, nice yes. to meet you. Enchanté. Enchanté. Okay, so that was a great example of paying attention to the details and being in the moment gives you a lot to work with because he just made her laugh. He made her genuinely, you know, have a good time without saying anything. He's just reacting to her accent, her posh British accent, speaking in a fancy way. And he's just reacting to it. He just has a smirk, right? He's just like, oh, really? And that's all it takes. You don't always have to be witty. You don't have to think of some Russell Brand, crazy, clever line. You just have to be in the moment and playing off whatever she's giving you. It can be a facial expression. It can be the tone of her voice. It can be something that reminds you of something. And if you're paying attention to the girl, paying attention to her and not to all the little neurotic thoughts in your head. Does she like me? Is she going to reject me? Blah, blah, blah. If you're thinking about that shit, you get shut off. You can't be creative. You can't think of something interesting that's going to add fun to the interaction. But by just simply paying attention to the girl, being in the moment, you're able to make any interaction interesting as easily as that. It doesn't require some crazy wit or anything like that. You just have to be in the moment and focusing on the girl. Uh, v A D I M. Oh, okay. The I By the way, if you're watching this and you're thinking, I'm getting a lot of interesting insights, this video seems to be very valuable, and you know, I can apply this stuff when I approach girls, but you're struggling to take enough action. You're still stuck in the observer mode where you're watching videos and not going out and getting real results. The easiest way to change that is to take in-person coaching is to work with a coach in person where they will push you to take more action in one weekend than most people take in a year, if not their entire lives. So if that's something that you want to do, you want to stop being the guy who's just observing, who's learning pickup, but not putting it into practice, or maybe you're dabbling, but you're not pushing yourself hard enough. You want to have a weekend where you take more action than you've ever taken before so that it becomes easy to approach women. It becomes easy to get five, 10 numbers in a night. It becomes easy to get the results that you see someone like Vadim here getting. Then make sure to click the link below to learn more about my boot camps and to schedule a free 15 minute call. Kind of sounds like it's French. Vadim? Yeah. Your name sounds so white. I sound so like, yeah, I, know. I sound so foreign. I, 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 I do. I do. So, Maria, are you just drifting through life on your bicycle? Yes, I am. Did you steal that bicycle? No, of course not. I f not, not, that I would, not that I would judge you or report you to the police. I, I feel like this bicycle is inconsistent with your style. Yeah, no, I just arrived today. So I'm just having a little walk before so I go. You literally just, bed. like, came from the airport? Like, you're, yeah. that, you're that fresh? That fresh, Fresh yeah. off the plane. Yeah. Normally, when you think of these European girls on bicycles <laughs> with uh, double-breasted coats, okay. Think of like a little basket and like a little yeah, city no, bike. I had that one at home, but I have to arrange with another one during the time I'm here. So I think that's kind of fit for that. So this this is your kind of uh, temporary bicycle. Yes, it is. Uh, I was yeah. just walking. I was gonna maybe head home, maybe invite a British girl for a drink. Maybe. Or some okay. Weed. 
Or Wait, weed. where are you? <laughs> or some weed? Yeah. To be honest, I was kind of working. By the way, smoking weed, it's a great excuse to bring a girl back to your place because, you know, drinking, you can go to a bar. So you don't need to go to someone's place to do that. But you can't smoke weed in public. I mean, you're not supposed to, at least. And it's something most girls are into, right? They're mostly like, yeah, I'll smoke. Why not? Uh, so that's a very good excuse for a pull. Um, I don't personally smoke, so I don't really use that. But if you do, uh, you might as well get some value out of that horrible habit that is probably ruining your life. Well, at least you can get laid out of the smoking so that it's, you know, it's, it's giving back something to your life. All day, so I wanted to just get out of the house and clear my head. I need to start adding, uh, I need to start adding music to my infield because it definitely adds energy to it. Let's speak some German. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good though. I've just I'm just wandering around trying to get a bit tired so I can go to bed. I've take, got a feeling I'm gonna be well for like three. Taking in the city. Yeah. It's cool though. Really that's how it always starts. I'm just gonna go out with my diet coke. Yeah, just have to a do a little tight seeing and before you know it, you meet a man in a purple shirt. Yeah. And then it's an adventure. <laughs> I have a crazy idea. I've been flirting with the idea of getting a beer. You want to join me? Adventure. You down to join me for a five minute adventure to McDonald's to get coffee and then we'll walk back to Lululemon. Drake is fired. I don't know how much company I'm going to be because I'm really tired from my flight. Like, I really tired? Huh? Nothing alcohol can't fix. I have a beer. Can we head towards my hotel, though? <laughs> uh, do you definitely. Can we head towards my hotel? All right. You know how to get there? All right, let's walk. Let's figure it out. You're just trying to seduce me into going to your hotel. I know how you women think. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line, right? That's a great line. It's something I do all the time in my interactions. You can see this in my infield a lot, where it is good to sexualize. It is good to make it clear that this is a man-to-woman interaction, not a friend-to-friend -friend interaction. But if you're just like saying, nice titties, that's not great, right? It's very easy to come across as abrasive and just to make it uncomfortable by being overtly sexual. But if you are blaming it on the girl, framing it that she is the one trying to seduce you, and it's, it's obviously kind of a joke, but kind of not, right? It's still putting that idea in the interaction. Blame the girl as trying to pursue you because it allows you to be sexual, but you're blaming it on her. She's the one who's trying to pick you up. You're not trying to pick her up. And that is like one of the best frames that you can have in an interaction. There's a Starbucks, but I'm kind of tired of Starbucks. Yeah, it's expensive. Is it? Yeah. For a regular yeah. coffee? Two dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah well, if Unless you get those macchiatos with whipped cream. Yeah. Oh, well, you're, you just have expensive taste. Yeah, seems so. <laughs> I've eaten so much crap today on the plane. <laughs> what did you eat? <laughs> well, the food on the plane is really nice. pretty disgusting. No, it was really nice because I went business class. <laughs> business class, <laughs> look at you. So I had like, I had a steak. Welcome to the good life. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to play the full 15 minutes. No one's got the attention span for that. Thank you, TikTok. But overall, the main lessons to learn from this infield, he's really good, right? This is a guy who knows how to talk to women. This is someone who's smooth. He's a great example of what good pickup looks like where he's leading things forward. He's making it sexual, but he's not pushy. He's not like weirdly aggressive or making anyone uncomfortable. He's doing it in a very calibrated way. And the main things that you should take from this video are one, how powerful it is to just be grounded, to just be unreactive, to be at the cause and not the effect. To be the one that has the penetrative gaze that she's like giggling to, to leave silences, to not be like overly excited when if she laughs, like, oh my God, she laughed, to not make a big deal of anything and to have that grounded energy. And then also how powerful it is to just 
have fun, that your main goal when interacting with women is just to express your own personality, to push your own buttons, to have fun. It doesn't matter whether you get the girl or not, just have fun fun. And if you're able to have fun, then everything else will come much easier. It doesn't mean you do need to learn how to close, right? You need to learn how to move things forward. But the underpinning, the thing that matters the most, the foundation everything else is built on is the ability to have fun while interacting with women, to enjoy the entire experience. And if you're able to do that, the girl will be far more receptive to anything you do because she likes being around you. She doesn't feel you're just some guy with an agenda who's trying to get into her pants or trying to get something from her. If you're able to push your own buttons and have fun, make jokes, that kind of thing. If you want to be the next success story, maybe you're not a virgin, but maybe you're someone who's been learning about pickup, but you're struggling to get tangible results. You have not gotten tangible results yet. You're not going on multiple dates per week. You haven't pulled a bunch of girls home. You're not having hookups and threesomes and all these kinds of things. You're still stuck at a level that is not satisfying and you want to make an insane amount of progress in a very short amount of time. A boot camp is the best way to do that. Make sure to click the link below to schedule a free call with me to learn more about the program.